Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. They ask, is the at repository annotation really necessary when implementing JPA repository in a Spring Boot application? This question opens up a fascinating discussion about Spring's data access layer and how annotations work behind the scenes. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. Let's start by understanding the role of the at repository annotation in Spring. This annotation is used to indicate that a class is a repository and to enable exception translation. Now, when you implement JPA repository, it already provides the necessary functionality for data access. This means that the at repository annotation is not strictly required. The at no repository bean annotation in JPA repository indicates that Spring should not create an instance of this class. Instead, it serves as a base for other repository interfaces. So if your repository class works without the at repository annotation, it's likely because JPA repository handles the necessary configurations internally. In conclusion, while using at repository is a good practice for clarity, it is not necessary when extending JPA repository. Your application is functioning correctly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You don't need that repository annotation when using JPA repository if you've set up enable JPA repositories. This annotation scans for Spring Data repositories automatically. According to the Javadoc, at enable JPA repositories scans the package of the annotated configuration class by default. You can also customize the scanning process by specifying base packages or base package classes. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When using Spring Data JPA, you don't need to explicitly define the at repository annotation. Spring automatically scans for interfaces that extend the repository and generates the implementation for you. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. It's a good practice to annotate your class with at repository when implementing JPA repository. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.